Hi guys, so setting up some P10 panels and thought I would do a quick video to share. Right now it's about 13 minutes. Sorry it's a little bit longer than I expected, but let's go through some setup. Uh, I do have some background noise. I have a printer printing some parts behind me. I'm here in the basement and you'll probably hear some kids running upstairs. It sounds like a herd of elephants, but sorry about that. So here we go. We got a four panel um, uh, P10 matrix. Uh, here's panel number one. I'll go ahead and pull this over so you can see the FPP setup. And so here we go. We got panel number one, output number one. And the arrow is pointing down, as you can see right here in the FPP. So from that panel, it goes to the second panel from that rim of cable right there. So there's panel number two, output number one still. And then we're going to go from this ribbon up to this panel. So there goes the data out, data into the next panel. Arrow on this side is reversed. You can see that here on the third panel. And so basically we have one output coming to panel one, going to panel two, coming into panel three, and then going from here into panel four. So one output four panels on this display. Okay. So, go ahead and I need to turn off the Wi-Fi. Come back into here. Make sure I'm still connected here. It'll refresh. We're good to go. So an LED panels tab. What I did not cover in my step-by-step how-to when I uh, did the assembly of the matrix, uh, the nano matrix pie hat, I didn't cover the FPP demon. But basically, when you add something or change something, this red box appears at the top of the page. So we just added some panels. We're going to go ahead and save, but we have to restart the daemon right here. So we got to restart the FPPD. As you can see in the top right, it tells us it's restarted. There's no more error message or no more warning message. Uh, without that being restarted and saved, you would not be able to have anything play. So keep that in mind. We're going to go ahead and change that back. Um, so we just have our four panels and we're going to save and then restart the FPPD. So once that restarts and the warning is cleared, we're good to go. We have four panels, but we need some data. Uh, we need some universes on this Pi to be able to uh, play it from X lights or via X lights through the output. So basically let's pop up the calculator here. Now each P10 panel um, is 16 pixels by 32 pixels. So you have 512 pixels on a P10 panel. That's pixels. Let's go into channels. So each pixel has three channels. So that's 1536 channels per panel. So might get a little confusing here, but we have 512 pixels. And basically that's a full universe of channels. But that number is pixels. So of course we have three channels and so per pixel that's going to be 1536 divided by the 512 is going to be three full universes per panel so four panels three universes that's 12 full universes not 510 channels we're going to go full 512 channels. So right here we're going to set our universe count to 12. 
and we have all of our universes here. Starting channel one, and then of course your starting channel, and everything's going to change depending on your setup. But I'm just showing you quick, down and dirty. So we're going to go ahead and save it. Now we made a change, so the FPPD needs to be restarted again. So we're going to go ahead and restart that. Once it restarts and the warning is gone, we're good to go. We have full 12 universes that we can output. But this gets confusing right here because this E131 output is coming from the ETH0, the Ethernet port. We're not outputting E131 via an Ethernet port from the Pi. All we're doing is receiving data via E131 from our PC to our Pi. So we're not outputting. And so in order to do that, we have to switch it into bridge mode uh, to be able to receive packets. So we're gonna change the FPPD mode to bridge. And then we're gonna see a whole new user interface that's gonna give us our bytes transferred and it's gonna give us our 12 universes right here. Of course, there's no bytes transferred right now because we're not outputting anything from XLite, so it's not receiving any data package right now. So let's go ahead and open up XLites and see if we can do something real quick, down and dirty, and then I'm going to let you guys get into sequencing on your own uh, and come up with the good stuff. I'm not a sequencer. My wife is, so she'll probably be mad at me here in a second. But... Um, we got our full 12 universes here. You have to have your universes in x lights. You have to have universes. You have to have your models. You have to have everything set up in x lights before you can output anything. So here we go. We got a P10 panel matrix set up, and I'll show you how I did this here in a second. So it's a horizontal matrix. So let's go ahead and click on the matrix icon, one click and then click on the screen. And so there's our matrix, it's a horizontal matrix, and right now it's just generic inputs. So let's go ahead and, um, I brought up the calculator, but we don't really need a calculator. We got 16 pixels on this side per panel. So there's two panels right here, so that's gonna be 32. So 16 times two is 32. And then we got a 32, all right, so we'll put that right here, sorry. 32 pixels there. And then right down here, we have 32 on each panel. So we're gonna have 64. So we're gonna input 64 here. And then we're good to go. We're starting channel bottom left. We're gonna save it. So here's our two matrix, matrices. We're gonna go ahead and delete this one that um, I had in here originally. So we can work with the one that we just built together. So we'll delete it, get it off the screen. Now we're good to go. We have our model, we have our universes. Now we can start sequencing. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start a new sequence. And then let's do a new animation, 20 frames a second, quick start, we're good, it brings in all of our models. I'm going to go ahead and click up here and just do a T on the keyboard so we can get some timing marks in here. And once we get our timing marks in here, we are able to start uh, dropping some effects on here. So we're outputting the lights. We click the check or the light bulb at the top of the screen, and we come back over to our Falcon player, and we're receiving data. So the bytes transferred, data packets going up. We're good to go. We have a live stream. So let's go ahead and drop an effect. Of course, what is the first effect we're going to go for? Let's go for butterfly. It's always a fan favorite, everybody. So we're good to go. We got. Um, Lights showing up on the matrix now, and uh, I'll show you uh, the quick video at the end of it of uh, what we created here. But 
we're going to go ahead and drop some more effects onto it. Um, I just uh, will basically dub in the video next. So, I don't know how long I paused here to... give a spiel, but uh, bear with me on a second, guys. If I could speed it up, I'm going to speed it up. So we're going to go ahead and drop a few more effects now. And so we did fire. Fireworks. There we go. Drop a few more effects down. Let's go ahead and we're going to add a new layer in here also. Um... So I'll right click, insert layer below, uh, love the marquee effect, we'll drop the marquee effect down here, we'll adjust the thickness of it, and uh, bring it up a little bit, a little wider, there we go, uh, we'll leave the colors the same, you guys can go into doing whatever you want to do. We'll drop a text down there, and we'll go ahead and say, uh, thanks for watching. So let's go ahead and type that in. And then what we want to do is after we type it in, of course I'm going to have it scrolling to the left. So we're good to go with that. Like I said, my wife's probably going to be mad at me here because I'm just going to stretch this out and do it the way that I do it. Um, it's probably not the right way to do it, but hey, I'm not a sequencer. You guys can do it the right way. Don't do as I say. Or wait, how does that go? So, alright, so we're good to go with that. And, um, so, we're going to go ahead and play the full thing. I'll show you that here in a second. That's basically it, guys. It's playing on the Matrix. We're good to go. And um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Like I said, um, get a lot of questions, and I just want to be able to uh, help as much as I can in the community and uh, it's one of those things where when you don't deal with p10s a lot uh, you kind of lose it kind of get rusty so I get questions from all over the board from uh, vendors to uh, new customers to veterans to everybody but uh, we have a good good support team out there and uh, I want to thank X Lights and Falcon for everything that they do so we're good to go that's going to end our recording